I am Gino. Hi, I'm a young Chris Kringle. And this is my review of A Very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. For two dudes, one flick. Harold and Kumar have a very special place in my heart. This series has always been about debunking stereotypes, triumph over assholes, the value of friendship, random Neil Patrick Harris cameos, and the celebration of the top half of the female anatomy. I can't tell you how refreshing it was when the first movie came out to see two Asian American leads that were just normal dudes. These guys weren't sidekicks, they weren't martial artists, and they weren't desexualized. A lot of the jokes are very cleverly aware of themselves. Right from the get-go, this movie lets you know that they're making fun of big blockbuster 3D movies. This is the most wholesome use of a coked out toddler I've seen in cinema to date. But the funny thing is, it has some of the best 3D I've ever seen in a movie. Danny Trejo's in this movie, Riz is in this movie, Harold and Kumar are in this movie. You have not experienced 3D at the movies until you've seen Patton Oswalt dressed as Santa blowing pot smoke in your face. 20 years from now, we might be in our smart living rooms watching the classic Harold and Kumar Christmas movie on our 3D TVs while our waffle bots plot their revenge against us. This wasn't just a good comedy, it was a good Christmas movie too. If you're a fan of the first movie, or even if you're disappointed with the second movie, this one more than makes up for it. So that's my review of A Very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. Join us next week for a movie. Don't forget to check us out next week. Like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Add us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Marijuana smoke in 3D! And if you want to bring beef, then bring the ruckus. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with.